Loose Women continued on ITV on Thursday lunchtime and the panelists welcomed gardening expert and author Alan Titchmarsh to the show. He opened up about his love of writing and all things green before Jane Moore questioned him about his writing muses. She accused the green-fingered star of churning out novels, something he was not best pleased about. Jane asked Alan to share how he found inspiration for his writing, everybody always thinks how hard can it be. What's your writing process? Because you have got to be quite disciplined to churn out novels. The gardening expert replied straight away, excuse me, I resent the word churn. The rest of the panel erupted into laughter before Jane spoke again. She said, I'm stuck on my seventh. But what is your writing process, do you have a special room you go to, or? Alan, having moved on, said, I used to, when I started, with a little house I wrote in the shed. Then I got a bigger shed and now I write in the loft of a little barn which is alongside the house. But a bedroom in the house is not enough, you just need that bit of distance. He detailed his creative routine, explaining, yeah I write in the morning, I tend to get up about seven-ish. I write, I like to be sitting down by half past eight and then I write until about one-ish, then it's a couple of thousand words. I get place and then characters and they drive the plot. He gave some details on his latest work, adding, in the latest one the place is very important as this latest one, the gift, is set in Yorkshire, the Yorkshire Dales. The gift is available to buy now and it follows his 2018 novel, The Scarlet Nightingale. The Gardener's other novels include Mr. Gandhi's Grand Tour 2016 Bring Me Home 2014 Alan Titch Marsh's Fill My Stocking 2012 The Haunting 2011 Knave of Spades 2009 Folly 2008 Love and Dr. Devon 2007 Rosie 2005 Mr. McGregor 2004 Animal Instincts 2001 Only Dad 2001 The Last Lighthouse Keeper 1999 The 72-year-old started his career as a professional gardener and a gardening journalist, before entering the world of showbiz. His first few television appearances were on the BBC show Nationwide as a horticulture expert. He went on to present the TV coverage of the Chelsea Flower Show for the BBC in 1983. In 1996, he rose to fame after taking over as the main host of Gardener's World, with the show being filmed in his own garden, as is tradition. In 1997, he became known to a much wider audience for his role on the BBC One gardening series, Ground Force.